We have had the bad fortune of being grey listed for several years and the grey listing of the destination has done significant harm to the offshore financial services sector in this country. In fact, from time to time, we will be required to come to this Honorable House to make piecemeal changes. And I am aware that there are some, perhaps on the opposition benches, who may be of the view that we should have a comprehensive bill. In many instances, dealing with the IBC, piracy, etc. But the unfortunate situation is that one has to be very responsive so that as the FATF make these recommendations, we have to be very nimble and we must be in a position to make these changes very quickly in order to avoid or to avert the blacklisting or grey listing of the destination. We operate a ship registry and the ship registry obviously is international and so to that extent I would want to believe that it could be said that we can capture it or be comfortable with this because we operate outside our economic zone in light of the fact that we are operating the International Registry. The bill is to amend the Antigua and Barbuda Merchant Shipping Act 2006 to implement or provide for the implementation of international conventions to which Antigua and Barbuda is a state party, to remove restrictions on the registration of passenger ships, to enable the deregistration of unsuitable ships, to limit the registration of bareboat chartered ships to those chartered by persons qualified to own Antigua and Barbuda ships, to allow the granting of temporary permissions in certain cases, and to modernize the procedures for registration.